Hey gang, Frank back here with you, and today we have the Vaporesto Swag PX80 kit. 80 watt device, comes with two coils, 4 mil juice capacity tank, bottom fill, I'll show you that in the down low, external battery, uh, venting on the bottom, Real nice look, stealthy screen. The side, nice pleather, fits good in the hand. Yeah, nice, uh, nice size. You know, not too big, not too small. Easy, nice pocket mod. Especially, I've been using it for a week now, and and you've been vaping on this one. And I have a uh, Boston Cream Donut in here that has a really good flavor to it. Nice bright color screen. Well, let's quit talking about it here. Go down, show you everything that comes in the box. Put a coil in it, fill it, and come back up and give you my final thoughts. Let's go. Alrighty, gang. Here is the Swag PX80 kit from Vaporesso. It says 80 watt maximum, has GTX coils. 18650 battery, type C, two amp charging. This side it just says Swag PX80. This side just says, you know, Shenzhen and all that stuff. You have your scratch and check. I'm sure your scratch and check's going on this side. There you go. It comes with 99.7 with by 24.1 by 47.7 millimeters. It comes with a 0.2 and 0.3 ohm mesh coils, four mil tank capacity up to 80 watt, single 18650 not included, 0.96 TFT screen, two amp charging type C, and it comes with uh, good stuff. Now let's go ahead, let's get this box open. This one's brand new. This will be first time out of the box. Okay, we got Vaporessor branding there. Open the box. We've got uh, all the paperwork for Vaporesso. All the good stuff's in here. Here you got your user manual, how to replace the coil. All that good stuff. We, yeah, just a warranty card, user manual, all that, you know, typical, typical Vaporesso paperwork. We're really good with that. Here we have two coils. Open these up for you. This one is, let's see if we can get that pull up. This is GTX. This is the can't quite see, can we? Point three, I believe that is. That's the point two mesh coil. Take this one out of the package. Yeah, this is the point three. You can see the mesh down in there. See the airflow on the sides. And for what we expect from Bay Press, so you get a really nice Type C braided charging cable, Type A to Type C. And then we have our device. Let's get this out of here. So this side you have this, uh, you know, this pleather is nice over here you have right over here you have your airflow you can see when you turn it closes it off opens it up and there's your fire button your up and down button your type, type c charging port carbon fiber on this side you have your battery cap So 
Let's see if you can read down in there so we can get to come up. Basically tells you do not use batteries with broken skins or torn wraps. That's real nice. Got me a Sony VTC 5A here. Positive, you can see down in there. Let's get this right. There you go, positive down. So we're gonna do that. Take your battery cap, put it back on. And it just tells you how small of a device this is, how well this fits in the hand. You can see right there what it does. The, the screen is hidden. I just check, check Admizer. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Yeah, it just hides behind there. It's just small. Take out the tank. You have two contacts, spring loaded, and you have four magnets. And there's the inside of your pod, or your tank in this case, I call it. And there's where your coil is going to go in. This is your fill port. You just open this up just like that. And there's where it goes, where you're going to fill it up. Pretty nice, nice size. Now here is interesting. See that lock? Let me get that right. You see there's an arrow there and it's on unlock. You turn it. Or you, you put a coil in and it'll pushes this up. Here, I'll show you. You just take one of these coils like so. Put it in and see it pushes up the drip tip and it's flat and you turn it and now it's locked. The coil is not going to come out. You can't push it. You want to eject the coil, push it back to unlock and boom. Pop your coil out. Now I saw another reviewer say that the, the older GTX coils did not want to work right. So let me see. I know I have some laying around here. See if I got a kit. I'm gonna take one of these coils. Let's take, let's see what we got. Let's take a point two. Take one of these point two coils, see what it, see if it, if it fits. You see, this is one of the older ones. I can already see a difference. So you got two O-rings on that one, and only one on this one. So let's see if this will go in there right. Push. Turn lock. And it's... So it's seated properly. Put it in. Not going nowhere. Five clicks on. There we go. Reading point two five. See you go to Lock the device. I don't want to misfire it. Just one, two, three. It's locked. One, two, three. Unlocked. Get this off of here. Help with the glare. You have your up and down buttons. 
half watt increments. It does not round robin. And when you hold it, it'll go all the way up to 80 watts. And then back down. Five watts. Get into the menu system. Hold. I think it's up. And the fire button. I think now we're in wattage. I think you hold both of them. Yeah, there we go. You hold the up and down buttons together. You got variable wattage variable voltage finger out of the way there smart chip and the puff counter and you go like that and then you got the theme default and it brings back the factory settings and exit i'm gonna still have it on variable wattage actually you know what i'm gonna put it on the smart mode And let's put the tank back on and see what it does. Okay, it goes right to 26 watts. Oh, it's jumping around. Yeah, it got right in place there, 0.2. Pop this back out. Put it back on. Right there, 40 watts. And it's still jumping around a little bit there. So that's a little odd. Let's try one of the new coils. And so you just take it. You don't have to worry about it being, you know, a flat sp spot or anything. It just it's going to go in. You just turn it and it locks. Check atomizer. All right, so it's a 0.3 ohm coil I end up putting in, and we're right to 40 watts. Take it out, fire, check atomizer. There you go, yep. So it went right to 40 watts. You know, see here, there you have battery venting on the bottom. I didn't just talk about that. And also, then you hold the menu. And when you go to theme, you got three different colors, green, blue, pink, and exit. And default factory settings. And puff counter goes back to zero. Everything's five watts. Now put the pod in. Actually, try that again, get the pot out, then put it back in smart mode. And now put the pot in. And that time it didn't want to do it. All right. That thing's fiddly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now to fill this, let's say we just, well, one thing I always like to do, I like to prime the coil. So we have Peachy Keen from Mill Nikon. Mixed this up uh, about a month ago. It's a peach ice cream. You can find that recipe on all the flavors. I always like to 
put a little bit of e-liquid around there a little bit on the sides not too much just a drop helps prime it and pop it in like so turn it like locked now we'll go ahead and fill it Hold four mLs. We're not going to fill it all the way. Just let it sit for a few minutes on the first fill with a fresh coil. So we're going to sit there. We'll let it sit. We'll go back on top and we'll vape on it and I will give you my thoughts. Alrighty, gang. That was the swag PX80 kit from Vaporesso. Final thoughts. Very well made. Very nice look. As you saw, simple, put the coil in. Everything works the way it should. Sometimes the smart chip doesn't always want to work, but as a glitch they've had with them for a while. I mean, with the other one I have, smart chip worked fine. This one, not so much. So you saw I took this one right out of the box. Literally took the wrapper off right before I shot the uh, down low. Uh, the only con I would say, the only thing that negative on my part that I don't particularly care for is the fill method. You know, I mean, I like the fact that there is the, you know, the bladder or whatever, the you know, rubber cap over it, <clears throat> but it is prone to leaking a little bit. Nice strong magnet. But I just think they could have had top fill. And just, I mean, maybe, you know, instead of having it like that, you know, maybe if you had that quarter turn, maybe this could come off and you could fill it like that to put that back down and still be able to eject the coil. I'm not sure, maybe. But say that would only, that'd be the only thing I would complain about would be that. Besides that, great little device. Uh, grab them online, if you're in a few spots, get them while you still can. You know, we're not sure what's going to happen. There is a call to action where the comment period's open about the the mail ban. So go ahead and do that. I did it. I, you, you can uh, basically what you have to do is you go on Feral Registry. You'll see where the call to action is. You'll see well. You'll see where the comment is for USPS. Uh, there is a link there to an email address. You copy and paste that into your email server. Put in the subject line, e-cigarette ban. Write your comment. Don't put any links to anything. Don't put you know, none of that. Just tell them, tell them what you think about it. Be respectful. Talking to the government. We want them to do something for us like that we pay them to do. So be respectful. Alrighty, gang. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on that next video. Bye, everybody.